Denmark's prime minister has just apologized to 22 children who were removed from their homes in Greenland in the 1950s in a failed social experiment. This is as shocking as it sounds. These children were taken to Denmark to be re-educated as little Danes so that they could later be returned to Greenland to foster cultural links and, quote, modernize the country. But when 16 did finally return, they were put in an orphanage and many never saw their families again. Only six of them are now alive. We have journalist and author and Sophie Aller joining us from Copenhagen now. So tell us about this social experiment. Who were these children and why were they taken? They were taken from different places in Greenland. And Greenland uh, is uh, this auto autonomous uh, territory uh, way up in the Arctic uh, region quite far away from Denmark and also very culturally different to uh, the Danish population uh, here. And so um, about 70 years ago, uh, the idea was to not only improve uh, these children's lives, but also to enable these children to be like an avant-garde that were to push ahead development within Greenland. At that point, the Greenlandish region was quite poor. It was after the Second World War. And um, so that was the sort of altruistic, idealistic motive that uh, made not only the Danish government and uh, Greenlandish authorities, but also charitable organizations participate in selecting uh, these children from different parts of Greenland and, uh, and putting them into this program. That was an experiment, uh, essentially. Even priests uh, helped uh, selecting the children. Ideally, they would have been orphans, but they couldn't find enough orphans. So they uh, selected children that had families and removed them uh, from these families. Uh, they removed them forcibly, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. now, now, you know, this is called a failed social experiment. Obviously, this did yeah. not work out in the way that the Danish government uh, or the, the Danish government hoped would happen. I mean, what ended up happening to these kids afterwards? Why did they call this a failed social experiment? It, it was very tragic. I think one has to see this in a in historical context. Uh, in the 50s, it was still the times of eugenics. Uh, we were still forcefully sterilizing women in this country. Um, and and we didn't, we saw people politics we wanted to optimize the, the population and so that was uh, that was the idea behind it but it failed miserably these children had uh very tough lives. They found themselves in a limbo between uh, the Greenlandish culture that they left. They weren't able to uh, language-wise and culturally reintegrate into Greenland when they grew up uh, and and was sent back. And and even in Denmark, they were still seen as different. So um, many of them, unfortunately, suffered uh, from abuse, from not really uh, having the type of life that was intended for them. And uh, sadly, uh, at this point of the apology from the Danish uh, prime minister, only six of the 22 are alive. Um, in fact, uh, um, very few uh, of them reached the age of 70. How did this story come to light? And why is Denmark only just now saying something officially? I mean, apologizing officially, it's clearly been quite some time. Well, I think there's, there are many things, uh, many aspects to this. Uh, the Greenlandish uh, Inuit population, they have been pushing for more and more autonomy, but also more of a, a cultural revival and uh, and. Uh, a reassertment of sorts vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Danish population. There's always been a bit of a disequality or maybe even a very big disequality if you see it from the part of the, of the Inuit population that the Danes have felt superior, not really regarded the Greenlandish as, um, as, as their rightful peers. Uh, and so the Greenlanders have been pushing for this for a long time. And I think uh, there's a lot of, um, right now, uh, it coincides with a big report and investigation into this matter uh, that has just been released. And also, this is a government that wants to put things in the past right. They've also uh, apologized to uh, children in an orphanage right. uh, back uh, in the same era in, in, in Denmark so recently. Um, so this government is happy to rectify things in the past.